Hello, and welcome to this Friday, September 24th edition of Sneaker News. This is Swole Sneakerhead here to bring you the weekend stories. Alright guys, we do have a few important things to talk about today. Before we get into that, be sure that you are subscribed to our channel here, Soul Supply Co. Subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you know we drop sneaker news as well as go live on Live Cops. As you can see, I was live streaming yesterday's uh, Yeezy Knit Runner drop. Um, It was terrible and that's why we are going to talk about that first. So let's get into it. As we all know now, the Yeezy Knit Runner was rumored two days ago about we started to hear that it was going to drop yesterday we then heard later in the day that it was going to be a $200 retail value and people were kind of unsure what to expect as far as resale but after the dust has settled the release is over and it was an extremely difficult release very very limited and a Yeezy supply exclusive now the resale price has stabilized around $590 and $600 in all sizes which is astronomical Again, I did I did predict that it was going to be very high for this first pair because there's so many unknowns. Like people have no idea how these feel, how they fit, what they actually look like in person, are they wearable? And I think we will see a price fluctuation based off that because obviously the prices we see now are before pairs are getting in hand, so it's really still hard to tell. Um, I would expect the market to correct quite a bit once pairs get in hand and maybe dip down to the 490 to 500 range as opposed to the 590 600 range. Personally, when I look at the shoe, I don't see this being a $500 shoe. It's not, again, like we don't have it in hand to know for sure, but it's not even built like that like firm of a shoe where you're going to get that much wear out of it to justify that kind of a price point. The only thing at this at this time that's justifying that price point is the fact that this is the first release and that it was extremely limited. And when I say extremely limited, if you go back and watch the live cop, it was out of stock in about 15 minutes. And I personally didn't get a single splash pass, I believe. I was running about 1,900 tasks between Wrath and two copies of Velox. And I did not get a single splash pass or cart. It could be my setup, could not be. I personally did try a lot of different uh, different things to add to my setup yesterday, and it didn't end up working out. So I guess we will see if that continues moving forward or if my luck can change a little bit. But yesterday was definitely a very tough release if you did end up grabbing a pair of these congratulations you're going to make a good buck on these and um yeah so that that's that's that release i would obviously expect more iterations of this colorway to come out very soon it would be easy for him to just change up the colors you know what i mean like the um you know like the yellow and the tan for just new colors and uh, we did see like pictures of of rumored colorways that may possibly come out at some point but for the time being, that's all we're going to get. It was a very tough release and sold out very quick. Let's move on to the next Yeezy release, which is going to be tomorrow, September 25th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Another new drop time for Yeezy. And that's going to be the restock, I guess you could say, of the Yeezy Boost 700 V2 in the Mauve colorway. Now, this did drop previously. I forget how many years ago, but it was quite a long time ago at this point. For an original retail price of $300, which is very high, obviously. Keep in mind, though, these do, I'm 99% sure these still have the Ultra Boost in them, so that does justify the price point slightly more. Obviously, not to the point of $300, because nobody's paying $300 retail for these anymore. It was almost like when they restocked the Hospital Blue or some of those other less, you know, those other 700 V2 colorways at $300. Nobody wants them. Um, But at this new 240 retail price, there should be a decent amount of hype around these. This is a classic colorway. It's it's more of an OG colorway for Yeezys. There are other mauve colorways that, you know, look like this, like the V1s. Um, And I do expect these to do pretty well, especially going into the fall season. This is just like, you know, a nice fall shoe. And I would expect people to go after these because of that. So again, this is loaded up for 11 a.m. Eastern time, not eight, not nine, not 10, because we get all these different release times on Yeezy Supply. Now tomorrow we get it at 11 a.m. Eastern time, which I'm personally very happy about. I'd much rather do it at 11 than wake up at 7 a.m. or whatever and have to do that bullshit. So 11 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow, September 25th. Right now, resale price is sitting around $300 in most sizes. Again, it is going to be a 240 retail. Resale is around 300. 
So if you see, if we go to sell now, let's see what let's see what we're gonna get on these. Let's say like a size 11, which is my size, 237. So that's already below retail. If you sell now, uh, let's see what payout is on the lowest ask. Lowest ask is 337 right now. You'd be making about 50, 55 dollars. So in that case, it's pretty good. Obviously, the market is going to adjust down a little bit after pairs get in hand after this release. Um, I would expect this to be a relatively limited release, although we did we do have a raffle on the confirmed app as well as Yeezy Supply, and I do believe some retailers will be dropping these as well. It looks like the usual suspects for Shopify sites, including like Shop Nice Kicks, Concepts, Billionaire Boys Club, Kith. They should all have stock of these leading up to that 11 a.m. Easy Supply release. So I guess we'll see after the 10 a.m. releases how much stock they actually drop. I wouldn't expect it to be a ton, but it's definitely going to be high enough stock where prices are going to take a pretty significant hit. Um, I would expect these to go down at least 20 to $30. I think personally people are going to brick these down to the point where every size is going to be payout. Uh, and when I say that, I mean like retail, like you're going to be paid out 240 like at the most. So I would be hesitant when going for these to some extent. Um, it's kind of hard to tell if certain sizes are doing better. Let's see. Not really. It's pretty spread out over all the sizes. I would say bigger sizes look like they're doing better. Uh, looks like 10 size 10 up has more higher bids. But even that, it's hard to tell. Um, it looks like right now, like size 13 is the highest selling size. So I would say focus on 10 plus in sizing. It looks like 10 to 13 is what they're going to be dropping. So I would focus on that sizing. But um, definitely, if, I, I think these are going to be more of a hot piece for uh, manual, uh, not manual, but for personal wear as opposed to resale. I wouldn't look at these to, to resale for that much. Obviously, if you can cop off somewhere like Yeezy Supply that does have free seven-day returns, Adidas has free shipping, free returns. If you can't get that free return option or free shipping, I would probably stay away from these. Like Kith has $10 shipping, but even with that, you're, then you're paying $240 plus $10 plus tax. So you could already be $250, $255, $260 in depending on your taxes. And it's going to be hard to make that back after undercutters unless you're getting that size 10 to 13. So be careful with that. Um, this is going to be a great drop for personal wear. So if you can find people that want these, you can get buyers beforehand or do, you know, auto checkout or whatever, something like that. That's going to be your best bet. But if you're just trying to grab these to, to quick flip them, I would stay away and just, you know, save your money. That is the first release we have tomorrow. That is going to be at 10 a.m. for Shopify, 11 a.m. for Yeezy Supply. We also have tomorrow, finally, the release of the Jordan 5 Moonlight, which I like to call, obviously, the Oreo. I don't I don't like the, the Moonlight name. I wish they just called it the Oreo. That's what people want. I don't know why they do this weird shit, but anyway, Moonlight will be dropping at a retail price of $190 tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time across all the usual sites it's going to be 8 a.m looks like for undefeated and then of course 10 a.m will be nike sneakers kith concepts dtlr um looks like shop nice kicks has them loaded as well as foot sites has them loaded in full family sizing we also have looks like nordstrom jd sports finish line dick sporting goods hibbit nba store so there is going to be a ton of stock of these these are 100 percent going to brick um, and it's unfortunate too because this is such a nice colorway. I'm really hoping I can just grab these on my on my sneakers account so I can you know have that option to return and not pay for shipping or anything like that because I do want to get these in hand to see like if I would wear them because they look they look so nice. I don't, I really don't know how else to say it, but the black the black material looks very nice. I love the icy bottoms. I like this little clear cage in the middle here. The accents are beautiful on these. I'm a huge fan of these other than the fact that it's $190 and there's going to be no resale value. I don't know. Every time I look at these pictures on sneakers, like the official images just look so clean. They look so nice. It's going to be such a great like winter colorway for like the Northeast area to wear out in the snow, to wear in the rain and all that shit. You can weatherize them with some spray or whatever, but as far as resale goes, uh, they're going to brick um, in all sizing. So if you're looking to get, get these for resale, again, just stay away. Save your money. There's going to be other releases coming up that will be more profitable. As you can see now, the highest size says it's size 6. Uh, sale prices are around 230 to 240 Some are even selling for 215 right now. Like If you sell a pair for 215 right now, you're not getting back your money, let's say. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go for size 11 because that's my size. Sell now, you're literally getting less than retail, 189, and the bid, I guess, is gonna be slightly above retail, but even at that, you're getting $14 over retail, and that's if you get it free shipping, no taxes. You know what I mean? If you get, for sh if you get these for straight 190, sure, you can grab these. Um, and I'm sure you could sell them locally or even probably sell them on StockX for a dollar or two profit, but I wouldn't put the 190 up on these. Save your money. Um, obviously, unless you want these for personal, I think they're a beautiful, beautiful personal pair, but I will not be going for them for resale value. Um, the other release that was supposed to be tomorrow, we'll look at real quick. It got pushed back, but the Shattered Backboard Jordan 5 was supposed to drop tomorrow. It is still dropping overseas, but US has been pushed to October 2nd. And October 2nd was supposed to be the date of the Jordan 4 Red Lightning, which may, got, may have gotten pushed, may not be pushed. It's still up in the air. Hopefully they don't get pushed back. I heard via Z Sneakerhead they may be pushed until December, I think. So that would be devastating because I've been looking forward to them for a while. Um, I personally like them way better than the normal Lightning pair that they came out with. So anyway, um, if you are overseas by any chance, these will be dropping on Saturday as well. For us in the U.S., we will have to wait until October 2nd. Um, other than that, there is one other release tomorrow. It's going to be the Sean Witherspoon Adidas Super Adventure Jiminy. Some Jiminy Cricket shit. Look, look at this whack ass shoe. Uh, I don't really know what's going on here. Um, it looks like retail price is supposed to be $160. And if that's the case, there is some slight resale value here. Uh, most of these Sean Witherspoon collaborations have been bricking recently. I would, I'm personally not going to touch these. I'm staying away. But if you do want these, they will be dropping at 10 a.m. at Kith Concepts, St. Alfred, Shop Nice Kicks, and potentially some other sites. But I'm saying bricks. I would stay away again and uh, just save your money for next month. October is poised to be a very big month. A lot of releases that got pushed back from September. So I would save your money uh, or focus on the Mauve V2 as opposed to these. And uh, that is the last release that we have to talk about today. So obviously we'll be back on Monday for more sneaker news. We'll talk about the next upcoming week because the next week is going to be packed. Finishing off the month and leading into the month of October. Very excited about that. Before we head out guys, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to this channel. And I may be going live tomorrow morning for the potentially the 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. release. I, I, I'll be running Easy Supply because I need to test my setup. So even if it's fake profiles, I will be running Easy Supply. So if you did want to hop in to see that, um, definitely stop by, turn on post notifications so you get notified when I do go live. It's usually 10 to 15 minutes before the release. But if I'm running at the 10 a.m. release, I'll probably just keep it running until 11. Anyway, um, yeah, it's Friday. Not much going on this weekend. Go enjoy your weekend. Go outside, have a good time. And uh, get ready to bear down for the last week of the month and the beginning of a very busy month of October. Guys, thanks so much for joining me. Again, smash that like button. I will talk to you all soon. This is Swole Sneakerhead signing out. Peace.